What's up guys, my name is DGZ370 here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be hunting on Redfeather Falls doing two missions. Uh, the first mission is I have to kill every single animal on the map that includes whitetail, blacktail, black bear, elk, and moose with any rifle mounted with the aim point scope. If you guys don't know what the aim point scope is, the aim point scope is basically a red dot scope. It has just a red dot in the middle, and that's pretty much it. The second mission is I have to get tracks from every single ammo on the map. So, and I have a moose right next to me just down the hill a little bit, so that's going to be the first animal that I kill and track. She should be just down over the hill. I seen her walking when I fast tracked over here. I looked down over the hill and I seen her. So she should be just down over here. And I'll show you guys the red dot. Yeah. It's, oh, man. It, it, it's not oh, there. It is. Yep. See, with the uh, middle mouse button, you can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, depending on whatever size you want. There's one of her tracks. I don't know where she went, so I'll give her a call. I don't know where she went. That's her track down there. So she couldn't have gotten too far away. Cause she, yeah, she was right next to me when I joined in the game. But she, I don't. There's one right there. Not the same one, but I will shoot her. Should be a good, yep, alright, there she went, she went down. And I'll grab the track from this one just so I'll have the track for the moose track complete. Uh, actually, it looks like it was the same one. She, she turned around on me. Yeah, she turned around on me and started going the other way. Here she is, so I'll go ahead and pick her up. Right lung liver, that's why she did not run too far. <coughs> that should be the mission, yep, keep your eye open. So, as you guys probably seen by the uh, message in the top left hand corner, uh, the one where I have to get the tracks is called Prove Yourself, and this one is called Keep Your Eye Open, where I have to shoot all the uh, animals with a red dot scope. <coughs> uh, the reason it's called Keep Your Eye Open is uh, you're pretty much supposed to keep both eyes open when you shoot a red dot scope. It's, I guess it's to help you see or something. I normally don't. I've shot a few guns with a red dot scope before. I don't really keep both my eyes open. I haven't seen a difference. I guess it just helps out, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to run back up to this tent here real quick. I don't know why I ran back up here, but I'm just going to look. Um, so what I'm probably going to do, as you can see, I started here and I fast-tracked over to this tent here. Uh, I'm probably just going to walk around, probably go over to this stand, and just walk out through the islands. I might head over to this big island here. I know there's bear there, so I can probably find bear tracks. So I'll probably head over to here might go up and around this island and then come back through and go down through blacktail country and then try and circle through and get some elk up through this way I'm sure by that time I will um, when I get to like right in here I will fast track over to this tent I've gotten blacktail from that tent uh, if I don't see any elk I will head this way and try and get some elk while I go up through here but yeah that is my uh, path for you guys I will yeah that is the path I will be going so I will see you guys when I get to my next animal alright guys so I got this white tailed doe out here she's actually stuck she got spooked so she's just out here running around so I'm gonna let her calm down <coughs> and I'm just going to walk around sorry for that guys I got a 
Still a little bit of a stuffed up nose. It's not a bad bowl there. Uh, but I'm more interested in the uh, female right now because I'm trying to get these missions done. <coughs> I uh, I watched the live stream for uh, the new reserve coming out today by Expansive Worlds. They had a Twitch stream out for them for it. And I think the new reserve looks amazing. Um, I can't believe the amount of detail that's gone into it. And the amount of detail that is still going into it. It, it just it looks downright amazing. Uh, all the animals look fantastic. So really good job on all their parts. Doing a fantastic job on the reserve. It, it's amazing. EW is not paying me for that. I do not work for EW. I, w I wish I worked for EW. That would be pretty cool. But I do not work for EW. I'm just a teenager from the United States. So <clears throat> they don't pay me for it. They don't give me special sponsorship for it. It's just I really like what they do. And I think it's an amazing job what they do. And this new reserve is going to be substantial, substantial to their name and what their <coughs> what their company is all about, with how much work they put into stuff and how well it turns out to be. And I will put a link to their uh, Twitch channel in the top of my description. So if you guys did not make it to the live, live stream. You can check that out. Oh God, this is going to be a hard freaking shot. I think I dropped her. I most likely shot her in the spine. I think I was aiming a little bit too high. Uh, I think she's laying there. I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. Man, the water's too deep for me to cross there. <clears throat> uh, if you guys have not seen my other two videos about the new reserve, uh, there are four new species coming to the map, uh, including Rusa deer, Sambar deer, Bantang, and water buffalo. The Bantang is like a, I don't know, it's like a, um, it's like a wild cow, I'm going to say. It's... It looks more like a cow. Uh, it, it's not as slim as a cow. It's more beefed up and bulky. Kind of like it's on steroids, kind of. So, uh, the Rusa deer, it looks amazing. I really like the detail that's in that. And the Sambar deer looks amazing, too. The pictures they released of it does not give it justice of how amazing it actually looks. Here are the white tail tracks, so that should be another part of that mission done. And oh, I actually put a half decent shot on her. Double lung shot, not too bad. I probably hit like just just in front of the liver. But yeah, the pictures does not give that give it justice at all of how amazing it actually looks. It's just it's pretty cool on how it looks. Like I said, I'll put a link in the top of the description to go and check out their Twitch page. Uh, I think they're going to have some some footage of it on there. I'm not totally sure if they will or not. I'm hoping they will, but I don't know if they will or not. So I'll show you guys. I shot her here. I got that moose over here, so not that far apart from each other. I was actually supposed to stay on that island, but that is completely fine. Yeah, like I said, it, it's a really, really nice, really nice reserve. I cannot wait for it to come out. Um, they did say the name of it, and they did give some other stuff away, but I will let you guys go and watch the stream and watch more of the stream coming out to figure that stuff out. I'll leave it as a big mystery to you guys. There's a buck call. Um, they added a new feature in, which I think is going to be really cool. Uh, some people were kind of against it, 
but I think it's really cool. I really like it. So, I think I think it'll be cool. Uh, they are putting camo in for the map. It will be a rainforest camo. Uh, your basic camo, like I have on now, uh, will work just fine there. Uh, since it's going to be a more hot climate area, you're going to need something real light, like I have on like a t-shirt and stuff like that, which will work pretty good. I think that's a house, yeah. I think that's a house. I don't know. So yeah, your light clothing, like a basic t-shirt and stuff like that will work pretty good for it. I wonder if this white tail is coming towards me. I'll shoot it with the 10 mil if it was. Or the bow. Just in case, although... Uh, I thought I heard tracks. I'm gonna say, or footprints. But I was gonna say there's a... No black tail around here. At least I haven't shot a black tail from here before. So I'm gonna get on top of this rock and look around. Because the deer should have been just on that, just over there. I should have seen it, but I it probably went down the other side, so I'll just, like I already did, I'll just give a few calls to it and see if it'll come back. And if it comes back, then I'll talk to you guys when it comes back. All right, so it actually didn't really leave anywhere. I'm just not that smart enough to see it. It was over here, and eh, he's not a bad buck. I will shoot him with the seven mil just because uh, I can. <laughs> Not really any reason around it. Yep. Yeah, it might have been either single lung or... Yeah, single lung. Um, I thought maybe... I thought maybe I was a little too far forward and I hit just... just the uh, neck piece. Uh, that big hunk of skin and fat that's in front of their brisket at like the lower neck area. I thought I hit that. I thought I was a little far forward, but I guess not. But yeah, talking about the reserve, I think it's going to be a real amazing map. I liked the stream. There's going to be another stream I had on Tuesday. Uh, it's going to be 10 a.m. Eastern Time. If you live in the eastern part of Pennsylvania, or eastern part of the USA, not just Pennsylvania. But <laughs> yeah, so it'll be 10 a.m. Eastern Time if you live in the U.S. Uh, I'm not really sure what the other uh, other time zones would be. Oh, I did hit the body, okay. Yeah, I hit like right in here, somewhere in there. Yeah, they said they'll be back on Tuesday with some more of it um, they were joined by who cares the hunter in this stream so I don't know if they'll be joined by him again or if it'll just be the devs and the dev team I'm not sure Ooh, that looks like a big buck holy shit it's a big deer another nice big wide buck not as big as the my first buck but still a really wide buck it's a really nice deer there oh he has a female with him oh, he's a little bit skittish so I'm just going to crawl up to this little this hill here with this log on it I'm gonna take a shot from back here I should have brought another scope with me and when I was just shooting animals to shoot I should have put the other scope on and just saved the scope for animals that I needed to shoot with it. That's what I should have done, but I'm not that smart, so <laughs> I didn't think of that until just now. Gotta get up here to where it's flat. Whoopsies. Let go of my mouse and the uh, cord pushed it. I gotta get up here to where there's a flat open spot where I can take a shot at him. So yeah, I should have brought a different scope, but... Uh, like I said, not that smart. He's still a little bit skittish. I can see right there. 
Uh, I think I shot him in the neck. I think I dropped him. Pretty sure I did. Uh, I could see, like, the top of his back and neck. So I'm pretty sure I killed him. Pretty sure. <laughs> Hopefully, I killed him. Uh, yeah, I did drop him. Right here he is. Pretty sure, yep. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Perfect shot right in the neck. Broke his neck. A 165.393 deer. Definitely worth a trophy shot in my books. Alright, so there we go. As you guys can see, I just have the basic stuff on that a beginner would have on his stuff. So we'll go ahead and pick a filter here. I think I'll go with the shadows. Looks kind of cool. Uh, he looks kind of symmetrical. The one left side might have been a little bit taller than the other one. Alright, so I have a bear running down the beach over there. I can definitely cannot get a shot at him. Um, yeah, I was just running along, happened to see him. There he is. Oh, I could have took a shot right there. I don't know if I hit him or not. I'm going to put a dot where I shot him at. And she was like right right in there somewhere. I might have hit him. Might have hit the tree. I don't know. But I will walk over that way then and see if I can find him. And there he actually is running. <laughs> So I'll work my way over that way and pick up his blood trail if I hit him and track him down. If not, I'll just pick up his trail and follow him until I find him again. Alright, looks like I did hit the bear. It was a body shot, so it wasn't the best of that female is coming to me. She's trotting towards me. It wasn't the best of shots, so I'm going to have to do some tracking. I'll probably have to put another shot into him at some point in time. Where's this female at? That female comes to me. I'm gonna shoot with the bow. I don't see her. Oh, there goes my bear. Dang it! If I was paying heck attention. I shot over top of him that time. Can't see him. So I'm going to put a dot where I last seen him going over top of that hill ridge. I think it was like right, like right there. I don't know. I heard that female take off. She wasn't that far from me. I don't know why she came trotting towards me, but... I will go ahead and track this bear down and try and get another shot into him. Alright, so it looks like my bear is laying down right here. I don't think he's dead. Uh, I will put my spot and scope on him and see if I get spotting information for him. Uh, if so, I will go ahead and put another round into him. Uh, yep, yeah, he is still alive, so I am going to put a third and final round into him, hopefully. Hold on. Alright. From back here, that deer looked awfully white to me. And in the meantime, that bear died. <laughs> yeah, just from back here, that deer looked awfully white to me. So I thought it might have been an albino or piebald. But here is my bear. It was the same bear, not a different bear. So he did not run that far, and as you guys can see, I have kind of, kind of laggy. First shot was in the body, second shot was right hind leg. Took him 5 minutes and 52, 55.2 seconds to die. Uh, not a bad one, 17.244. I'm not going to take a trophy shot of him, because he's not the biggest ever. But that should complete our mission for keep your eyes, keep your eye open. 
and um, the blood track did not count as a track from him. I did have to grab just one of his normal running tracks or fleeing tracks and use that one instead of his blood track to get that mission done. So all we need now is Blacktail and Elk. Alright guys, so I just jumped up into this stand over here. Uh, I put some Blacktail urine or scent lore on that rock there. Uh, I had a female call out from like over in here somewhere over there by my dot she wasn't she was probably about 190 meters away I'd say so I'm gonna give some calls to her and see if she'll come in and if she comes in hopefully she'll bring a big buck with her if not that's fine too I'll see you guys when she comes into range. Alright, so my black tailed doe is finally here. There were two others with her, but I there's no males. I didn't see any males, so I'm not gonna wait for them. Uh, I changed out my weapon. I am now using the 8x57. Uh, I haven't really hunted with this gun much, so I figured I'd bring it out and hunt with it. Or at least try and take the last two animals of the day with it. There's a just wanna make sure that's not a buck back there. It is not, so I am all good to take this doe out then. So let's go ahead and take our shot. Dropped, dropped her instantly. Uh, I, as you guys could probably see, I'm real shaky with the gun, so that's I haven't used it much. And there's a key key sign that I have not used the gun all that much so go ahead and pick her up and get the black tail part of this mission complete all right so now all I need should need is the uh, is the Roosevelt elk this should be a black tail track here yes it is so there is the track part or the black tail track mission Part complete for the blacktail tracks. I'm gonna wait until it pops up. I'm gonna grab a few. Oopsies. Grab a few other ones just in case the one did not work. There it is. All right, guys. So I got a female moose down here. Uh, I'm quite surprised she did not spook. I was running and I ran up to the top of that hill, and she was closer than what that one. And she is now. I'm quite surprised she did not spook. I gave her some calls, so I'm hoping she'll turn around. And I'm going to try and get her within 20 meters of me. I'm going to try and take her out with the bow. So hopefully I can do that. I did find some uh, male black deer tracks up there on top of that little knoll there. But it was from a whole different, it was from a whole new different herd of uh, black tail, so. Looks like this moose is just going to ignore me. That's what it looks like to me, at least. There's a black tail right there. Female, but yeah, it looks like this moose is going to ignore me. So I'll just walk behind her and call to her until she turns the hell around. She might be a little bit skittish, I don't know. I'm uh, probably about 30 meters, I'd say. I'm gonna try to put an arrow in her spine. Yep, dropped her. She's, well, not dropped, she's paralyzed. So I'll walk up to her and I'll put an arrow in her head and you can see where the arrow hit there hold on baby girl oh really that was bullshit there we go I finally put her out of her misery I do not know why my arrows were hitting off to the side like that that was quite bullshit but at least I got her killed quickly and not lay, let her lay there and suffer. It's 
so I didn't even check the distance of how far she was. <laughs> oh well, I am still on my way over to trying to get to my elk spot, so I will meet you guys when I get over to my elk spot or if I find an elk along the way. Alright guys, so I finally found them elk. Uh, they weren't over the hill, but too far. Uh, here's where I found their tracks, and they're just over here. I kind of figured they wouldn't be that far away. So I've been calling to them, and I just now spotted them. So they should be coming back, which they are. <coughs> From what I can tell, there's probably like a group of five of them. I'm just going to take the closest one out to me. Because there's, I have not found a bull track and I did not hear a bull call. Is that one looking at me? No, okay. Yeah, I did not hear any bull elk call out. I can only see the two of them at the time being, but I know there's more tracks than just the uh, two of them, so. Give a call out to her again. And I'm going to crawl up towards her somewhat just to get a... <clears throat> uh, up close shot on her for this uh, aim point scope so it should be a good shot right here so go ahead and take a shot at her come on there go. dropped her instantly and the other elf go running so should pick her up I know I shouldn't be shooting one that's stuck, but it <coughs> I had to. I didn't have to, but I don't shoot many elk, and I definitely don't shoot many elk with my 10 mil. So, double lung shot. She was alive for 0.1 seconds. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and take a trophy shot of her to end out the video, I guess. I'll go ahead and pick up that other elk once I'm done with her. Alright, so I think that looks pretty good right about there. Zooming in a little bit. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you really liked it, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you guys like. Tell me, guys, tell me what you guys like. Tell me what you don't like. Uh, if you want me to do a Q&A video, I'll do a Q&A video. If you guys want to ask me some questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And as always, guys, until next time, peace.